third straight gold medal mo sa event. Fifth. Fifth? Yeah. Fifth straight? Yeah, I, um, I won nung 2017, tapos 2019 two times, and then 20, 20, last year once, and then this year once. Okay. So, fifth gold medal. Um, hindi ko expect na mananalo ako kasi I'm also a med student so I'm in my first year of medicine and I didn't graduate from a science degree so medyo mahirap siya for me to balance with training. How so, did you balance it na ako nag-aaral ka? Um, pag gusto mo may paraan. Yeah, um, mahirap siya pero kakayanin kasi I really like this sport. But uh, what made you decide to take uh, medic medicine? Uh, um, yung family ko kasi parang hati sila. Yung mommy ko kasi galing sa family of doctors. Tapos yung daddy ko meron siyang mga relatives na lawyers. So they didn't really um, pressure me to pursue any of the ano, the two professions. Pero hindi kasi pang law yung personality ko. So naisip ko, since nagsasports naman ako, why don't I connect it? So pumunta ako ng med. So is this going to be your last game? Bata. Hindi, hindi naman bata. Um, I'm middle age, like 24. I don't, I don't know, like hanggat sa kaya ko pa. But, ilang years ka pa sa, um, uh, sa, sa, sa medicine? Uh, I'm in my pa? first year, so ano pa, um, four years pa. Saan ka nag-go med school? University of the East, Ramang Magsaysay. Shout out sa kanila kasi they're so supportive of me. They're the only school that really supported me, kahit sa post-grad. So, Could you elaborate but yung sinabi mong yun? Bakit? Okay lang sila na nag-train ka rin? Yeah, even before I decided to go to that school, kinausap ko na yung dean and sinabi niya, yeah, just tell us kailan ka aalis, we'll give you an excuse, ganun. Kasi mahirap usually kapag college, kapag poster, it's really hard to get excused. So, nagulat ako, they were very, very lenient sa ano ko sa reason ko which is ano naman it's um excusable naman kasi it's to represent the country so yeah Ate pero hindi ka ba na pressure na running third ka no first ano mo sa I was really happy with that result kasi hindi ko talaga inexpect na magto top 3 ako um I've been training hard naman pero ano eh yung nasa utak ko din is yung backlogs kasi school um tapos you know nung pag-alis ko kasi galing Pinas everyone was expecting that I would win, pero ako I can't even expect myself to win. So, parang ay sobrang hard niya imanage mentally. So I was really happy na nagtuit pa ako. How's your day like ba sa Pilipinas yun? Mga nagtraining ka at the same time studying ako. Oh, so hard. Um, nagtraining ako twice a day and then I'll still have class. Tapos I'll study at night and Minsan hindi na ako, kahit sa weekends I don't really rest kasi yung training namin is Monday to Saturday. So, Sunday lang yung rest. Pero yung Sunday, I allot it for backlog sa school. So, hindi talaga ako nag, ano, like, I don't really oversleep na anymore. Like, kahit until 9, I still wake up ng 7am, ganun Monday to Sunday. So, tuloy-tuloy lang talaga siya. Next competition, after Sea Games? Um, I think Asian Games. Ano yung course mo pala na hindi, hindi ka pre-med na yeah. course? I graduated um, with a Bachelor of Arts in Diplomatic Affairs sa Benil. Ah, sa Benil. Yeah. This was when? Tagal na. Um, 2018. And then I took a four-year gap. So hindi ka nag-full-time athlete ka? Yeah, nag-full-time athlete ako dun sa time na yun. Okay. Anong field of specialization ang plan mo sa Benil? Uh, I don't know yet eh. Kasi first year pa na ako. Thank you so much. Thank you, Agata. Congrats. Picture. Pakisain sa kahangilan mo, pat tips, tips, tips.